Francis Mago, a five-star offensive tackle from IMG Academy out in Florida. The six foot five, 330 pounder checks in as the number nine overall recruit in the class of 2023 on 24-7 sports composite rankings. Is the number one rated offensive tackle and number three player overall in the state of Florida. The IMG standout has everything you're looking for in an offensive lineman. He has great size, is very physical, and is one of the toughest offensive linemen in the class of 2023. Mike Goa transferred to IMG before his junior season, and this has helped him get even more college ready because he's playing against the best competition in practice every single day. And also IMG plays one of the toughest schedules year in and year out. So he's lining up against the best talent in the country, playing against a national schedule. And that's really gonna have an impact when he does get to the college level because he's gonna be college ready. The five-star offensive tackle dropped his top five earlier this summer. It includes Alabama, Florida, Miami, Tennessee, and USC. And an NFL cop I got for Francis is the San Francisco 49ers, Trent Williams. Oh man, I know a lot of top schools and fan bases have had this very date at this very time set on their calendars ever since Francis Maigoa let it be known that this was the time and place to make his announcement. Francis, welcome to CBS Sports HQ. I know you're joining us from Hawaii. Why did you choose July 4th to make this announcement? After all the visits, we had a little savvy talk. Me and uh, my parents that were on the visits. So we set this point of time so that way we can, you know, take away all the, all the, all the noise and all the, you know, the distraction that people try to get me into. So we set this day to eliminate all the, all the noise from all the colleges. So that way we can focus on um, football and academics. Well, you've certainly eliminated a lot, a lot of noise coming into this announcement. What's the process been like for you as we still don't know where you're going to choose to go? Yeah, it's been a rough road uh, process. Uh, you know, every school that we went to, it's always, it's always, you know, get better and better. Uh, you know, I've been to some of the schools once or twice or maybe more. But, you know, our relationship gets tough every time. So bringing my parents to the official visits, you know, that, that showed that was a lot. That they really care for our, for our family and our tradition and our culture. Well, this is a big moment for you and your parents and your entire family. And the floor is yours, Francis Maigoa, for your college decision. Um, before I say my announcement, I would like to say a couple of words since I'm on. Um, yep. Momola <laughs> First and foremost, I would like to give thanks to the Lord. For he has blessed me with all these people that surrounded me, my family, my parents, brothers and sisters, aunties and uncles, fans, coaches, everyone all over the country, all over the world. Every single one of you is appreciated. All these top schools, they all have good academic and football programs. But it only comes down to one school that is best fit for me and is best fit for my future. Because I'm not only representing them for four years or three, I'm representing them for five or 50 years or more. So after a little talk with my family, a big talk, uh, a long discussion, um, 
you know, we have prayed for this for a while. And lead me, lead us to one school, one school only. I love all these schools. You have shown me a lot of love. I appreciate what you've done for us. But I would like to take my academic and football career to the University of Miami. Francis Maigoa is headed to the U. Francis, congratulations. <laughs> Why Miami? Um, they're, they're, the coaching staff there over there, I think they're settled over there. I mean, they were they were at Oregon. They recruited me at Oregon. That we built a lot of bond, a lot of relationship. I have big trust in, the, in uh, Coach Maribald, Coach Cristobal. You know, playing for a, for a head coach that plays O line. I mean, that's O line of uh, that's O line dream right there. You know, play for because uh, O line head coach, he's going to focus your, your the, the football game on the O line. So, yeah, it's all about the U. Also got a big-time quarterback recruit coming in and, and Jaden Rashad. How much do you know about Jaden? Jaden Rashad, we, we, we've been talking for a while now. I'm, I'm excited for what he's going to bring in. You know, I'm, I'm going to bring in my all. So we're going to build this team. He'll see a lot more to come. Francis, we're going to have all sorts of people on to talk about you and the way you play. But what would you like? the fans down there at the U, your coaching staff, and your new teammates to know about the kind of person and player they're going to be getting in Miami? You're going to get a person that will I – don't, I don't like to, you know, talk a lot. I like the action. I'm all about the action. So we're going to bring in the heat. We're going to win another natty. You know, we're going to bring it back. Well, get ready, Miami. One of the top O linemen in the class of 2023 is coming your way. Francis Maigoa, congratulations to you and your family on your selection of the University of Miami. Thank you. All right, so let's take a look at a little more about this talented guy, the number two ranked tackle in the entire recruiting class. Number three ranked recruit in his state, a four-star recruit. Let's bring back Greg Biggins, the national recruiting analyst for 27, 24-7 sports. Greg, he's going to Miami. What do you think about the selection? What kind of player is the U getting? What kind of fit is he down there? Yeah, no, I, I like it. And I think if we kind of rewind about a year ago, you know, Oregon was probably the leader for Francis, and that was largely because of his relationship with Mario Cristobal and Alex Mirabal, the offensive line coach. So those guys have been on him for a long time. And, and once Mario left Oregon to go to Miami, you know, they immediately hit up Francis. He was a high-priority target for him as well as just about every, you know, university in the country. So uh, we talked earlier, it, it, I, I love the fit. And he's a guy, again, I think he can play four positions. I think, you know, he's a big, massive kid, uh, but he does have those tackle feet, tackle athleticism. Uh, he is a road grader he's smart he's tough uh you know he's got every tool to succeed again on and off the field and, and just listening to him talk man you could tell you know he is all about that business uh, he's a very serious kid he's driven motivated and again i, I think for me you know, I, I like it when the superpowers, Texas and Miami and U.S. and Notre Dame, I want to see those schools kind of get back. You know, growing up, I loved it when Miami was one of the top schools around. And I think it's fun. So uh, I think Mario, man, he is a relentless, maniacal recruiter. The whole staff is. And I think Landing Francis, you mentioned Jaden Rashada, huge fan of Jaden. And I like what the Canes are doing right now. And I think Francis is going to be a big piece of, of hopefully bringing the Canes back. Yeah, ex you know, expand upon that just a little bit about Miami's recruiting class now with the new head coach, Mario Cristobal. Where are they in the grand scheme of things in recruiting? Yeah, no, I mean, they're, it's going to be a top 10 class easy. And, and honestly, if you've ever been to Miami, you know, South Beach is right there. I've been a few times. It's, it's not a hard place to recruit to, right? You can sell academics. You can sell tradition. And, and I think, again, Mario Cristobal and that staff, man, they are relentless. And, and there's so much talent in South Florida. You know, it pains me to say as a West Coast guy, but there is no place like South Florida when it comes to football talent. Uh, they have everything, whether it be quarterbacks, whether it be linemen. Obviously, the skilled players are second to none. So uh, you put the right coach in place at Miami with the talent around you, the ability to recruit from a national standpoint. Uh, Mario doesn't really need to leave the state, but he can if he wants to, because uh, there is he does have that ability as a recruiter. Uh, I think Miami has everything in place. Uh, I'm excited to see you know where they're 
um, where they're going to be end of this recruiting cycle. And I'm, I'm excited to see where they're going to be. It, they're not there yet, obviously. They need probably one or two more classes. But man, I don't think Miami's going to stay down for very long. Greg Biggins, he's National Recruiting Analyst for 24-7 Sports. Greg, thanks so much on this big day as Francis Maigoa is headed to the University of Miami and for constant, never-ending college recruiting coverage, football and basketball, it never ends. That's why they call it 24-7 Sports. That's your one-stop shop for everything from preps on up. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.